they estimate from the 2000 census that there are over 6,000, 6.6 6 6 million children being raised by relatives in the United States. Wow. California, the 2000 census, it was 1.2, 1.1 million here just in California. In Los Angeles, there's over a half a million children being raised by relatives. Now, to take that even finer, only one in six, or one to ten, we're not even quite sure, of those children are part of the foster care system. There's a huge number of children that are out there that are, we, we call them informal because they're not formally part of the foster care system, which is sort of a crummy so thing to call them. So they're with relative caregivers? They're with relatives because the relatives have seen things weren't right, things weren't going well, and they're there struggling many times, not knowing that there's others out there, not realizing there are not many resources, but there are a few resources, such as my organization. Um, and, and it's just a very difficult kind of a, a problem that needs to be addressed. But by coming to your organization, mm -hmm. I envision, and I, this is actually a question that you get to answer, um, it gives families an uh, avenue of strength because when you're isolated and think it's just you mm -hmm. and this is your problem and then you come together with other people and you yes. begin to discover, oh my goodness, it, it, it's not an income issue, it's not an ethnic no. issue. We've all, we're all in this together. Absolutely. It crosses all, all ethnic barriers, all economic barriers. It's no longer that just those people over there have that problem. It's, it's universal. And, and again, the drugs being the key piece, that drugs, when they get somebody, they get them good and there's, there's no, no preparation. It, 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 it's a disease, it's unfortunate, but yes it is. The, the, probably the greatest thing that GAP tries to do, and that's our little acronym, GAP. We fill the gap. We're filling well, the gap. Um, but, but one of the greatest things we do is bringing the families together so that they become a family. Uh, most, most families, when this happens, they lose their friends because no longer can we go out to dinner casually when we've got to be home with the baby. We can't just up and go on vacation. Financially, many times, your, your budget is totally out of whack. So, so many things happen, and when our groups get together, we, we have weekly educational support meetings that are very educational in nature, putting resources out there, helping families navigate, and, and navigate is one of the new words. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's always uh, a new word. It, always a new word. Navigate. Navigate. But it's true. It's, it's how to get through the system, how to know in court, if you're going to court, or if you're just going after guardianship, or you just need questions of how do I enroll my child in school. All of these are things that for a 50, 60-year-old grandmother who hasn't been in that system for 30, 40 years, it's, it's monumental.